Don't think Will Levinson. And it's time to talk sports. We are back and back with a bang after a nice holiday break. High school sports have finally arrived here on the Western Slope. And boy, we had a big night on the hardwood beginning at Fruita Monument High School, where the top team in the state, the Fruita Wildcats, played their first home game of the year tonight against Centauri. Great crowd on hand, and it's a great idea to put the ball into big number 35, Daniel Thomason's hands, because he just makes plays. Nice spin move there. But the Wildcats can do it on offense, and they can do it on defense. Defense leads to offense here, and in transition, Lucas Weaver lays it in a beautiful feed in on the inbound right here, and it leads to an easy bucket for Max Orchard. All Wildcats in this one as they get to 11 and 0 with a dominant 71 to 36 win over the Falcons. So we head across the valley to Palisade now, and this one was tight throughout between Palisade and Summit, just a one point game at halftime. And here in the fourth, the Bulldogs get the board and they get in transition. And Lane Rupolis lays it up and in as the game is knotted up at 46 with just over four minutes left. But here come the Tigers. Layup is no good, but on the follow through, bucket and the foul for Sam Eldridge. Free throw was good, someone goes up three. Now down five needing a bucket and LJ Ballinger delivers that cuts it to two and after a summit bucket great hustle from Hunter Howard grabbing the board off his own miss and it perfectly leads to a lay-in from Skylar Woods down low it's a two-point game and check out the effort here on the defensive end for the Bulldogs down by one needing possession both teams desperate for this loose ball after a scrum for it it's called a travel on Palisade and the Bulldog fan faithful hands on heads. They can't believe it. So with a minute left, Palisade had to foul and Summit made one of two free throws. So here we go. Palisade down by just two. The three for the lead is way off and the ball goes out, but it remains on this end. So one last gas for the Bulldogs with under a second to go. They try the tip in and oh, oh so close for Fred Moore. And so Palisade falls to Summit in heartbreaking fashion, 56 to 54, as they fall under 500 at five and six. But it wasn't all bad for the dogs as Palisade took down Summit on the girls' side just before the boys' game, 53 to 38. And boy, the Palisade girls' team looks like an absolute force as they get to eight and three on the year. We also had some wrestling action in the Grand Valley tonight and the Central Warriors stayed hot as they took down the Riverdale Ridge Ravens. Boy, what a name that is. At home, 51 to 26. J.P. Espinoza continues his remarkable season getting to a perfect 9-0 and in non-exhibition matches as he is ranked second in the state. And he took down a Raven ranked third in the state and to the ice now down in Dallas. The Red Hot Avs looking to keep it going against the really good Stars team after Dallas struck first. Nathan McKinnon named an all star earlier today and he is keeping his unreal season rolling. But here we go with a minute to go down one and wow. Miko ranted and finds a net and we're headed to overtime with an OT on the breakaway. Guess who Nathan McKinnon book it. Let's go home. Second straight game. The abs come back from down three to one to win five to four in overtime. It's their fourth straight win and a huge win for Colorado. Wow. What a great night of action here in this great state. But that's all my time for sports. I'm Big Will Levinson.